What's up, everybody? Once again, it is time for Funko News. This edition of Funko News was recorded on September 19th, 2018. As usual, I'm starting off with the focus on what is available now in the wild. Do bear in mind, though, that some figures are hitting certain areas earlier than other areas. That always tends to happen that way. And also, I've been saying this, GameStop seems to be getting figures ahead of some other retailers. So if you don't see some of the figures that I'm pointing out here right away, just be patient. You know, they will spread out and um, become more readily available. So first of all here, the holiday Marvel figures are starting to show up in some stores. That does include Groot there, kind of dressed like a Christmas tree, Spider-Man in the ugly sweater, Hulk holding the stocking in the present, and then Deadpool with the two candy canes almost holding them like swords. So again, these figures are starting to hit some stores. You just may not find them everywhere just yet, but they are common figures. Also, the Digimon figures are starting to show up in some stores. Again, you know, if you have a GameStop in your area, that might be where you want to check first, although these are not exclusive to GameStop. GameStop is just getting a lot earlier than some other retailers, but if you don't see them right away, be patient about that. Not long after the last uh, Funko News that I did, the baby Nifflers that are exclusive to Box Lunch did actually go online. I believe they're still online at the time of this recording, but if you can't find them there and you have a Box Lunch in your area, definitely check in store. As far as the 5 star series is concerned, the latest figures released are the horror figures, and that does include Chucky from Child's Play, Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees, and Pennywise. So again, these are figures that may not be really widely spread yet, but they are starting to hit stores. So do be on the lookout for those. I'm definitely interested in those five star figures. I think they turned out pretty well. And then Target is starting to receive some more exclusives, but they may not be able to actually sell them until October 5th. Okay, so October 5th is the street date for a lot of Target exclusives. So just bear that in mind that if you can get free that day, especially that morning, that would be a very good day to check out your local Target store. Now, some stores may be selling the figures early. Some stores may say they cannot sell them early. I'm really not sure exactly how that works. But again, just keep October 5th in mind. The It Mystery Minis have actually been showing up in stores for a couple weeks now, but Funko did do the official reveal on these, and they did point out the exclusives. So you see here that Hot Topic has a couple of exclusives, including Pennywise there holding Georgie's arm, Ben and Bill. And then um, FYE has these exclusives here of Pennywise with the, the wide open mouth, all the teeth going on and everything. Then they also have Eddie and um, Beverly with the blood splatter going on there. If you've seen the movie, you know what that's all about. And then Walgreens actually has two Pennywise variants, including one with the wrought iron through his head, you know, similar to the pop. And then they also have Mike there holding on to the rebar. So if you're trying to get all of these, of course, you will have to check with these various different retailers. The latest item on the Funko pop-up shop is an item that was actually revealed several months ago. David S. Pumpkins with Skeletons. This comes from Saturday Night Live, a Saturday Night Live skit um, that included Tom Hanks, which is why it kind of stood out as a skit. But this is not proven to be super popular, and I think it probably does come down to the price tag. This does basically run... I want to say around $50, just over $50 with shipping. So, yeah, I think that's what's, what kind of kept some people away from picking this up. And I know that some people are looking ahead to New York Comic Con as well. So, again, at the time of this recording, this is actually still available on the Funko Pop-Up Shop. And I imagine if it doesn't sell out that they will go ahead and move it over to the regular Funko Shop soon enough. So here are some figures that you can pre-order right now. Remember I said last time that Pop in a Box was about to get a Disney exclusive. That probably would be a two-pack. And that did turn out to be the truth there. And it does include here these um, two Dalmatians from, from, of course, 101 Dalmatians. So yeah, this is available for pre-order with Pop in a Box. I said my feelings about that company previously. I'm not going to run that into the ground, but that's, you know, that's up to you if you're interested in these. You can pre-order with Pop in a Box. And then as far as GameStop is concerned, you can pre-order the Heartless Soldier. And this actually is available to pre-order online, at least last time that I checked. Same thing goes for Gamer Mickey. Gamer Mickey has also been available to pre-order online. So you can check those out or, of course, you can go in store to check for these pre-orders as well. Now, moving on to some random bits of information here. Something that I kind of suspected was going to be the case has panned out to be true. So, yes, Hot Cash is starting at Hot Topic, but 
the horror box that they have going on, which I did reveal the spoilers for that last time. If you missed that, you can go back and check it out if you want to know what's in the box. But yeah, the horror box is going to be excluded from hot cash. So you cannot use hot cash to purchase the horror box. So you will have to pay that full retail price of $32. The black and white Pennywise pop, which is exclusive to the Rhode Island Comic Con, may go online after the convention if there are some left over, and that will be with the ToyVault.com. So keep that in mind. Um, you know, definitely make a note of that if you are interested in that figure and you cannot make it to that particular convention. Also, you see here Road Roadhog as Junkenstein's monster is coming to Hot Topic, and Junkrat as Junkenstein is coming to Box Lunch. No specific dates on these. Once these actually do release, then of course I will let you all know about that. Then you also see here the Freddy Fazbear Funko cereal is coming to GameStop, which I would imagine this is going to be hitting stores very soon. Again, once it actually does start to hit stores, of course I will let you all know. I got to say I really love the colors on that box. They really stand out very nicely. Now I don't have an image on the screen to really go along with this, but I do want to point out that I am aware that some Walgreens orders have been canceled recently. Basically, I think that they um, were selling more than they actually had in supply. So I'm thinking that that's the, what the issue is, basically. So, yeah, if you had an order canceled with Walgreens, that's probably what it is. I would be patient, you know, maybe down the line, you know, give it a little bit of time. Maybe there will be some restocks on some of those recent exclusives. Again, some more random bits of information here. The Target exclusive 10 inch Mickey Mouse that again is on the way, should be on the way very soon. Um, it's releasing next month. I don't know exactly what date next month. Of course, once it starts to hit shelves, I'll let you all know. And I definitely want to share this better image of what that 10 inch pop looks like. And then also the Golden Girls Funkos are on the way soon. These may actually be hitting some stores already. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I want to put that out there because I know there are definitely a lot of Golden Girls fans out there. As far as I know, uh, this is the only box. I'm not sure if they're going to do the other characters as the um, Pocket Pops. We'll just have to wait and see on that. And then within the next week, okay, this could happen over the next week, any particular day over the next week, Walgreens could be getting some of their Spider-Man related exclusives. And that would include Man Spider, Spider-Man Noir, Six Inch Spider-Hulk, Ghost Spider, and Lizard. So over the course of the next week, like I said, it could be any given day that these actually start to show up in Walgreens stores. I do not know if these are going to go online or not. I think there's a good chance because a lot of their Marvel exclusives have been online previously, but we'll have to wait and see. And of course, when I learn more, I will let you all know. For those of you in Canada, you might want to check Toys R Us for these Spider-Man related exclusives. Something else that Funko revealed, and they actually did a lot of reveals um, over the past day or two, but you see here that there are some DC Bombshells mystery minis on the way for a December release, and there will be some specialty series exclusives as well. I do think these are cute, maybe a little bit too cutesy for me to collect. I'm not really sure how I exactly feel about these, but I do like the designs overall. If you're a DC Bombshells fan, definitely let me know what you think about this sort of childlike look that they went with with these mystery minis. And I know some people have been wondering what is going on with the pops related to um, Ralph Breaks the Internet or, you know, Record Ralph 2. Um, those are still supposed to be coming early next month, and we're starting to get a look at some of the figures here. We see Wreck-It Ralph himself, Vanellope, and then some other characters here that um, I believe uh, most of these other characters are new to the franchise. And you see that there will be a chase in the mix of that character, yes. And um, that what I can tell is different from the chase variant is that she has glitter on her clothing, on her outfit there. And then do remember that with this movie, there will be some other Disney characters making an appearance, including Moana. And you see that there is a rock candy of Moana based off of this movie. And I'm sure well, there will be some other figures that get revealed as well. And you can look at the back of one of the boxes here and you see some of the other characters that will be included within this wave. And that does include a character named Shank. A character that looks like it says knows more. Fix it, Felix, of course. Um, character here, I think the name is pronounced Taffita, possibly. Uh, I think that's a play on the word Taffy. And then, of course, that, you know, that chubby bunny from the um, trailer as well. So, yeah, a lot going on with this movie coming up very soon. I would imagine that Funk was going to do an official reveal here very soon. And then when they do that, of course, I will share the details there. 
So the Austin Powers figures, we knew that these were on the way for a while. I've talked about these previously as rumors and then had some early images of them. But now we see here, we got Austin Powers himself, Dr. Evil, and um, I think these designs are pretty spot on. I got to go in and say that. Then also Vanessa Kensington and GameStop will have an exclusive variant of Austin Powers. It's just a different color suit. He has the red suit there instead of the blue one. Now, I know already some people are wondering where are the other characters, you know, like Mini Me and so on. I would say if you really want to see those other characters, then make sure that you buy these pops. Um, I think Funko is trying to feel out the demand and the interest in these characters. So, yeah, if you want to see some more, basically make sure that you buy these. Okay, and these are up for an October release. And then there is a new variant of Buddy Elf, of course, from the Elf movie. This is a Walmart exclusive that actually has been available on their website. So you can check it out, look for it on the website, or you could check for it in store. And this is Buddy Elf with Baby. Okay, so now we're going to get into New York Comic Con. This is definitely the big talk of the week as far as Funko is concerned. They have started to do their official reveals and they're going to be more official reveals tomorrow and the day after. You know, the, the reveals are going to keep coming. It's not going to be as much as New, um, excuse me, as San Diego Comic Con. You know, they don't do as much for New York Comic Con, but still some very interesting figures are on the way. You see here that the convention starts on October 4th and that is the day that the exclusives, the shared exclusives will become available and most of them will be sold online as well. And I am going to run through what has been revealed thus far. If you see a limited number of pieces on a figure that usually usually would mean that is convention only, not always, but usually that is the case. So most of the information you're about to hear here, it is official from Funko, but remember things can change, you know, so just do bear that in mind. So the first wave we're focusing on here is DC Comics and they actually made sure they went ahead and shared that orange chrome Batman which is going to be shared with Toy Tokyo a little bit earlier because of course Batman Day just passed recently. So yeah the orange chrome Batman that was the first figure revealed from this wave. Then we also see here first appearance Wonder Woman which is going to be shared with Hot Topic. We have Arthur Curry Aquaman which is also going to be shared with Hot Topic. We have the Superman Chrome 3 pack that's going to be with FYE. Then as far as five star figures are concerned here, they have the Batman, the Gold Midas Batman that is going to be with GameStop and EB Games. And then they also have another five star figure here, the Harley Quinn pink and white, which is going to be with Hot Topic. And then finally here they have this two pack, the Flash and Superman, or you could say the Flash versus Superman racing each other. This is going to be with GameStop and EB Games. So overall, I think the DC figures are pretty solid here. And we do have one more or you could say two more DC figures to cover here. So these figures here are with, excuse me, they're with Fugitive Toys. And Fugitive Toys actually went ahead and put the pre-order up on this Chrome Flash set. Even though it's two separate pops, they're treating it as a set. And you see that price on there, which is kind of hefty, $49.95, basically $50. Um, this is actually currently pre-sold out. Now, if you missed out on this and you are interested and you're willing to pay that price, do not panic. The same thing happened with the Kyle Rayner pop that they had for SDCC, and they did end up doing a restock on it. So just be patient and uh, wait and see about that. If you're interested, like I said, there's a possibility that these may get a restock. Moving on here to Marvel, the Marvel wave, and uh, they have here some figures that had been rumored for a while. So we see here the classic Spider-Woman, which will be shared with Entertainment Earth. They have Carnage with tr Tendrils, which will be shared with Hot Topic. They have another variant here of Okoye, and this is Okoye in the red dress, of course, based off a scene in the movie. And what's pretty cool here is um, she shared with Amazon, and you also see here that her wig can be removed. So that's a pretty cool touch there. They do have that movie moment I was just talking about. I was wondering if this was still going to happen. And here we see it as part of this wave. Hulk Buster versus Hulk, which is going to be with Walgreens. This one, I really want to see better images of it, though, because I'm not completely sold on it right now. Like I've said about some of the other movie moments, I'm kind of questioning how much detail it has. So I'm really looking forward to uh, Funko's videos when they do their unboxings and everything. Moving on here, yet another figure that had been rumored. This is Korg and Meek, and that's based off a scene directly from Thor Ragnarok. And that will be with GameStop and EB Games. Then they have a Dorps here of Ironheart, which will be with FYE and 
I might actually pick that one up. I'm still hoping that they will do an actual pop of her as well. But I do like that Dorbs, and it's, it's rare that I buy Dorbs nowadays. But um, that one I could see getting. And then they also have here a Gold Chrome Shuri, of course, from Black Panther. Um, this is going to be shared with GameStop and EB Games. As far as music is concerned, they just have one pop, and in my mind, perfectly fine with it because this is Notorious B.I.G. with Crown. This is, um, you know, somewhat different from the common. To me, it's really a combination of two, two of the most famous pictures of Notorious B.I.G. So you see the images there to the right. This is very true, you know, as far as a combination between those two images. And what separates this from the common pop, of course, is the color of the jacket that stands out and then him having the shades on as well. So, yeah, I really do like this. Definitely got my fingers crossed. I know it's with Toy Tokyo. I know how people feel about Toy Tokyo, but I'm not that type to give up easily. So, yeah, I'm going to try for this. And even if I got to buy a bundle, I'll go for it, you know, because I really do want to add this to my collection. And I will say that quickly for other people as well. I'm seeing way too much negativity. If you're going to be a collector... You cannot give up before you even try. I think that's the wrong attitude to have. Seeing way too much of that going on in the community. Don't give up before you even try. So keeping it moving here, I put a couple of things here together because there really wasn't much to these. You can't even really call them waves necessarily, but you see them here together. As far as games are concerned, they have this variant of Reinhardt from Overwatch. This is going to be shared with GameStop and EB Games. No big surprise there. Um, from Fallout, they have the Assault Tron, and this is actually um, Glow in the Dark, which is pretty cool. And I would assume that the Reinhardt there is um, Glow in the Dark as well, definitely appears to be. Um, but this is also going to be shared with GameStop and EB Games. As far as the Garbage Pill Kids is concerned, they just have this metallic variant of Atom Bomb, which is going to be with Toy Tokyo. It is limited to 3,000 pieces, so that could mean possibly convention only. Not 100% sure, but that's the possibility. My personal opinion, even though the flame effect does look pretty cool with the metallic paint job, definitely would prefer to see something, you know, completely new when it comes to a convention. And then also we see here, as far as Star Wars is concerned, surprisingly, just this one figure, and it is of Captain Rex from the Clone Wars, and this is going to be shared with Hot Topic, so for Star Wars fans, that one should be pretty easy to get. And then, of course, there's a Hanna-Barbera wave because we know the CEO of Funko is definitely a big Hanna-Barbera fan. And I'll give them credit. They keep coming up with more great characters to, you know, turn into pop figures and other figures here. So we see Dum Dum. That's one that I shared previously. already knew about this. That one is going to appear on the Funko shop. Also, Baba Louie is going to appear on the Funko shop. And it's no surprise that he's getting a pop, you know, because they've already done Quick Draw McGraw. And they already did the uh, vinyl figure of him, the vinyl two-pack. Then we also see here Jabberjaw, once again, Funko Shop. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know, notice the pattern here. But then we also have Funky Phantom. But Funky Phantom is limited to just 1,000 pieces. This is a glow-in-the-dark figure. I think it's going to be highly sought after. And more than likely, this one's going to be convention only. But we will see. And then there actually is a vinyl two-pack here featuring Huckleberry Hound and Snagglepuss. I think that's an interesting combination to put those two together. And I do like the vinyl two-packs. Um, I don't know if I would go for this one necessarily though. But this is yet another item to look for on the Funko Shop. Next up here for TV and animation, just two pops that they put together here. So from Teen Titans Go, we have Beast Boy. Um, and this is a figure basically, you know, has existed in another form already. This is a variant here, and it is a metallic variant that will be with Toy Tokyo, limited to 3,000 pieces. So we'll see whether or not any of those actually make it to their website. And then from Rick and Morty, we have Gearhead here. This will be a Target exclusive. I do think this is a pretty cool figure. Um, they actually showed this off on Twitter. Um, you know, Funko showed it off on their Twitter account. And it actually is clear. You can see the gears inside. I, I do like that. So I could see adding that one to my collection because I'm definitely a Rick and Morty fan. And then as far as TV is concerned, this is more of a, you know, live action TV focus here. They have Married with Children action figures. This will be an action figure set, which will be a Target exclusive. And then CC from New Girl, they did say they were going to make sure they did a pop of her. She's going to be shared with FYE. Then we had the Butabi brothers, Doug and Steve Butabi. This is a Barnes and Noble shared exclusive. 
I mainly know these guys from the movie The Night of the Roxbury, which is a hilarious movie to me. I actually haven't seen too many of their SNL skits, but um, you know, I do like the characters. I don't really know about the pops. I think the pops are a little plain. That's just my opinion. Now, this made me laugh out loud, and I, you know, I got a good sense of humor about it. Some people may not find this funny, but I really love here. They have this Jan and George Glass two-pack based off the Brady Bunch. This is a Books a Million exclusive. If you know the series, The Brady Bunch, then you get the joke here. So I'm on board with that. I think it's pretty funny. I will say this, though. I hope that Funko has the good sense to only charge the price of one pop for this since it's not a true two-pack. You know, but um, yeah, just let me know what you think about that down in the comments. I really want to hear what people think about that. Hopefully, there are a lot of, a lot of you out there that actually get the joke. And then here in the bottom left... Um, we only have one Doctor Who figure here, but I think it's a pretty cool looking one. Um, the, the name here I think is Vashta Narada. If I mispronounce that, please forgive me. I'm not familiar with the character, but I do think it is a very cool looking pop figure. It's a glow in the dark figure that will be shared with Hot Topic. And then uh, two figures here that I've shared previously with you all. We have Killer Frost, of course, from the Flash television series. She will be shared with Hot Topic. So I know that's going to make a lot of people happy. They'll be able to get her, should be able to get her. And then also Supergirl here is going to be shared with Barnes & Noble. And then there are some figures here that have not yet had their official reveal, but it should be coming very soon. So from Harry, the Harry Potter franchise, we have Professor Quirrell. Um, forgive me if I'm not saying his name exactly cor correctly there. And then from Toy Story, we have this Piece of Planet truck featuring Buzz Lightyear, which will be shared with Box Lunch. At least it seems like it's very likely going to be shared with Box Lunch. And then these Vegeta figures, which I've shared a couple of times with you all now. Majin Vegeta, remember, will be shared with Over9000.com, but that will happen um, a couple of weeks after the convention. And then also the blue chrome Super Saiyan Vegeta seems like he's, well, I mean, it's pretty legit, is going to be shared with Toy Tokyo. So again, these have not had their official reveals, but all of these seem pretty legit. And now let's get to the rumor mill. So as far as Jim Lee's artwork is concerned, it seems like it's going to inspire some more comic book moments and that could feature the Flash and Aquaman as well. Pretty cool looking designs there. You know, we'll see what happens if these actually pan out to be legit. Also, it seems like there could be a, another movie moment based off of Infinity War, Thor versus Thanos. I think a lot of people would be happy to see that one. So fingers crossed that this actually pans out. And then Avatar Pops have been rumored for a good while, and I'm not even going to butcher the names here, but if you're familiar with the series, you see some of the characters that are supposed to be on the way. And like I said, this rumor has been floating for a good while, so I think it's very likely that Avatar Pops are going to happen, you know, hopefully in the near future for fans of the series. And then finally here, we have two more rumors here. From Toy Story, we could be seeing Woody with RC car, and this has actually had been um, rumored for a while, and you see Funko actually had concept art for it a while back, so this could still potentially happen. And then also from Toy Story, but there could be Mrs. Nesbitt, Slinky Dog, and Wheezy. So for fans of Toy Story, just be on the lookout. There's definitely more very likely on the way. And then also to the right here, you see that there could be Daffy Duck as Robin Hood on the way, which I would imagine that means that there would be some other Looney Tunes characters, you know, in certain costumes from certain episodes on the way as well. But we'll just have to wait and see what happens with that. So yeah, that was a lot of information there. Um, I hope everybody got something out of this video. Remember, there's going to be a lot more information coming up about New York Comic Con. I will try to share as much as I can in the next video as well. So definitely look for a video this weekend, either late Saturday or sometime on Sunday. Just be on the lookout for that. And uh, also look out for some more content coming up on my channel as well, including some interesting opportunities. You know, just keep your eyes open. Stay tuned in. But again, thank you all so much for the support. Thank you for watching. And I'll talk to you all again real soon.